Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And I don't know about you guys, but I can feel it! Here at Shujin, people are loving the Phantom Thieves. And, well, why don't we get a physical oh. representation of that because the game is cool like that. Yes. Let's draw the logo and see what the kids gotta say. Oh, it's the Phantom Thieves logo! I've been seeing it everywhere I go lately. I wanna buy some Pea Thieves merch. <laughs> Pea Thieves? Ew! Just looking at that glorious logo makes me feel a little braver. Those guys are seriously awesome. Man, this is crazy cool. I'm gonna take a picture. He drew it, right? It's like the best drawing I've ever seen. Oh my god. I can feel the adrenaline rushing through my veins. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm not that great. Learn everything I know from a certain uh, painter. <laughs> yeah, just want to do that from time to time, but today, guys, we're doing a little bit of a shopping spree. Get ready, because your boy needs a gaming laptop. The new expansion of Innocent Sin Online is coming out, after all, but if we can get the broken laptop for real cheap, that's a second-hand store, but we got to fix it, too. And to do that, well, we got to go to a new location, Akihabara. I almost lost it. <laughs> More specifically, though, Electric Town. You've never heard of this place. It's kind of a mecca of sorts for manga stuff, but also capsule toys! Oh. Yeah! What is this monster? That's set, dude. Capsule vending machine? 500 yen? Why don't you try and test your luck? Okay! I hope I get set on the first try. That'd make me happy. We still gotta decorate our room, bro. Ah, we got Decorabia! Yeah. Capsule says it's uncommon. It's not a big win, but it's not a huge loss either. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Just don't get it. Why do people want oh, yeah. these? We're not Kyabra, right? Maybe we can find something here that wants the toys. Friggin' F that, I'm gonna keep them all. <laughs> As we continue to walk around, though, we see a beautiful maid. I'm from Alice's Apron Maid Cafe. We're waiting to welcome your arrival. Oh, that crap. What? Do you want me to come to your store or not? Who cares? Otaku will come to the cafe even if we don't advertise it, you know. Still, can't go home until I get rid of all these flyers. Why do I deal with this crap? I don't know. <sighs> this job's impossible. Why do I even do it? I... Do you want me to go to the cafe or not? Jesus Christ, this passive aggressiveness. Ugh. Instead of the maid cafe, let's go to the computer shop and hopefully we can find some tools. I know I can, because it's right there. PC tool set. We need this for tonight. We gotta fix that laptop ASAP. And, you know, since we're out here, I might as well show off a little of what uh, the Akihabara and Persona 5 Royals like. Got the egg guy, he's cool, and what looks like a foreigner. Huh. This is the Electric Town. Gadgets Otaku Maids? Ah, so wonderful. Very cool. <laughs> Most out of towners say that. Been here my whole life, and I think it's strange. Next, I want to meet, how do you say, the Phantom Thieves? Yeah! Don't know if I can swing that. That's the deal with those guys anyway. Huh, seems like people even from outside Japan think we're cool. Sadly, we can't go any further, but is cool. There's a lot to do here, but we're still not done shopping, god dang it! Next. We need to get some stuff for the trading side quest, and I don't know how to get to this place fast, so I'll just settle for the theater. Yeah, we need the postcard, the mask, and freaking, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, the wafers, like food. People are making Phantom Thief merchandise without our permission. It's kind of crazy. Also, the thief mask nullifies brainwash. I think that's kind of funny. Just throwing that out there, but. Now we need to, like, seriously, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going into my list, like, uh, okay, we got that, we need the book now, let's head the book down, and buy it, it's the only book we can get, so might as well get it. This line of bookstores makes for a grand sight. So this is Jinbocho, town of books. Well then, let's go in the store. Okay. Welcome. Oh, you're pretty young compared to most of our customers. Our bookstores caters to experts, so the books here might be a tad difficult for high schoolers. Oh. Bummer. Well, I'll sell you the easiest book we have. Welcome. <laughs> it's kind of mean, like, you're not smart enough for our books. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Come again. Yeah. I feel kind of, I feel kind of insulted. What's up with the other people in Japan? Do you want me to buy your stuff or not? <laughs> but uh, 
you know what? Hanging out with my friends will make it feel all better. Unfortunately, they're all busy, so we have to settle for the Velvet Twins. Hey, girls. What are you gonna do today? I don't know. That's really up to you. Listen closely. The place used to evaluate your rehabilitation is a place where land, water, and sun all meet. Hmm. People around here have been looking grimier than ever lately. Probably because of the heat, as they say. During this season, large numbers of humans gathered a scorching border between Mother Ocean and the land. Hmm. Why would they subject themselves to such a harsh environment? We demand a satisfactory answer. Uh, I'll try. Does this location sound familiar? Yes, it does. Well, if you know where it is, yeah, let's just get to it. What will you do? Come on. Get on the train. We're going to the beach. Let's go, Ooh, so you do know it. Come on. Move it. All right. Move Jesus. We need the fair first. Where the humans can fall prey to heat stroke during the season. Must take care to avoid a similar fate. I think we'll be okay, but... I mean, you guys got the hats on, right? That'll block out the sun. My. This is quite the gathering. Why do they come here? Of all places, it's so hot! Yeah, that's part of the appeal, though. Perhaps they are trying to catch the cool air blowing over the water. We are rather interested in entering the water ourselves, if possible. Uh, can you do that? You guys didn't bring bathing suits. I also didn't either. Why did we come here again? <laughs> You're talking about special apparel for entering water? Yes. Of course we lack such things. Mm. We can't go in the water in these outfits. Our master would be none too pleased upon our return. <laughs> yeah, probably not. By the way, I noticed a peculiar group over there. I do not know why, but they stand in a loose formation, striking a plastic sphere back and forth. What? It was probably a summoning ritual. Ah. <laughs> uh, See? It looks like they're trying to build a shriveled Decarabia army. The the starfish? Volleyball? What what are you two talking about? It's just stuff you do for fun. Th they're not Decarabia? If they're not summoning, then what are they doing? Th they're just they're having fun at the beach. That's it. I see. So this is a form of human recreation. Is that some variation of beach volleyball they're playing over there? It looks like they're using a ball as well. Where's the watermelon? Straight. Straight. That's a dude. Straight. Right, dude. Too far. Go back. No, not that way. <laughs> I know this is what it's called. Suka water. Correct? It, yeah, totally. From what I've heard, splitting a watermelon with a stick can be a great pleasure. How barbaric. What's so fun about that? Um. <laughs> See, what you do is you pretend the watermelon is somebody else, and then that is barbaric indeed. So a player dons a blindfold, then imagines the face of someone they dislike. If people didn't relieve their stress with games like this, they'd be the ones to crack up eventually. Is that it? Uh, yeah, kind of. So this place has more benefit to it than just an ocean breeze. Hmm. Humans come here to fulfill their desires and release their frustrations. Yeah, now you're getting it. Then the ocean sweeps up all those feelings and washes them away. <sighs> Not that part. What? I must say, I find myself quite impressed with this mother ocean. We know why humans gather at the beach. So we've determined this request to be complete. Heck yeah, I did it again. Here's your reward. <laughs> we've been rewarding you every time for these. You better take these assignments seriously. <sniffs> Wait, why did you give me a growth? Ew. As suggested by the moniker, Mother Ocean, some say humanity was originally born from the ocean. Perhaps the true reason humans gather here is that their instincts beckon them home. Hmm, maybe. Hey, inmate, do you grow nostalgic when you swim in Mother Ocean? Try swimming with a ball and chain on your leg next time. I bet that'll help with your rehabilitation. Or kill me? Now, what? Let us return. I've grown quite hot. You must escort us back now. Okay. I guess coming here in a long sleeve shirt would kind of suck. Seriously. Why would I Why would I swim with a ball and chain? Maybe someone is strong enough to put that. <laughs> okay. I should think about hypotheticals like that. What did the principal let happen this time? 
Your school's on the news again. Some kind of misfortune magnet or something. Just don't bring any bad luck down on me, got it? Uh, no promises, Sojiro. Sorry. I'll try, though. Did you get the data yet? Oh, yeah. No, my sister still hasn't come home. Dang it. Man, she's seriously that busy? Probably because of us. <laughs> so, uh, do you still want to go through with this? Yes. I can do it. Hold on. I have a message. <gasps> it sounds like she's on her way home. Oh my god. Tonight's the night. Alright! It's finally time! My heart's pounding! Make sure to be cautious, okay? I'll count on you, Makoto. You got this, girl. Understood. I'll report back tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait to see what comes of this. Heck yeah. This is really big. We kind of lucked out having Makoto by our side, but... You know the drill by now. Before we can see that. It's crossword time! Low class destructive storm? Yeah, I know that one. The answers? Typhoon. Thank God I don't have to deal with those. Refers to a tropical cyclone with sustained winds of at least 118 kilometers an hour. Located within the northwestern Pacific Ocean area. Japan's official tropical cyclone. Intensity scale features three categories for these storms. Typhoons. Very strong typhoons. And violent typhoons. Oh crud. That's All spooky. Right, There's also nice. Typhon. But she's a cutie. Depending on which... Japanese video game decides to make her a really adorable girl. <laughs> Not that I've played any of those, but... Yeah. Instead, I just gotta deal with hurricanes, but... Now, it's time to work on our laptop. This will eat up time, so be careful. You could also go to Chihaya and get a boost to your proficiency, but we're already capped, so I don't need to do that. Okay. Getting this thing to work won't be easy. I think this will take some time. Oh yeah, it actually warns you. How about that? Well, I got time to blow. Let's do it. It's not like we can hang out with anybody else tonight, really. <sighs> this is so complicated. I don't even know what the part is. Just be careful. Don't worry. We got Linus Tech Tips. We'll be fine. <laughs> That's how I built my PC. So all the computers are essentially made up of different components that are assembled. Hmm. Yep. Not too tough once you've done it once or twice. You finished it already? Then again, the damage wasn't too bad to begin with. Heck yeah, we got a free computer! Basically! Painting such a complex mm. machine gave us proficiency, which we don't need anymore. I'm gonna try to not say that a lot, because it's gonna be a recurring theme. What the? Hello, this is Shady Commodities Tanaka. I repeat, I'm Shady Commodities Tanaka. There, we sell wonderful and rare items that are not circulated among the general public. Cares about something? You got access. You want something? You got access. Holy crud. This guy's a salesman. What the heck? Just went to that site automatically. Was it going to do that beforehand? I don't know. Also, how does it have Wi-Fi? What the... Shady commodities. So it's an online shopping site? Either way, certainly got my attention. Let's check it out when we have time. Which we don't tonight. Go to sleep. Okay. I'm sorry, Morgana. I'll do it. Looks like you're busy. I'm listing up the evidence that's been taken into storage. It's a chore that any part-timer could do. I don't have time to waste on something like this. It felt like my irritation would show on my face at the office, so I brought it home. Sorry to hear. The Phantom Thieves case isn't so easy that I could pursue it in my spare time. The media keeps making a ruckus about it, so people have been wary whenever we make inquiries. Why I couldn't get anything out of a man who seemed to have intel. I even tried threatening him. All I did was question him a bit harshly. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll be going on a school trip starting next week. The senior faculty are being questioned, so I'll be going in their stead. Sounds good to me. The school will owe you for it. It won't get in the way of your entrance exams, will it? Not at all. Feel free to take a bath first. I need to study. Okay, I think I'll do that. <sighs> I should do it, right? Oh, Makoto? Yes? I want to change my toothbrush. 
I bought a new one already. It's on the shelf. Thanks. Hurry. No way already. That was fast. I'm not really in the mood to relax in the tub. Oh, it's so close to being done, too. Oh, uh, sis? What is it? I bought a new bath salt. It's on the same shelf, so would you mind putting it in the tub? <laughs> not at all. Dude, she was in that shower for like 30 seconds. That's nasty. God dang. I got it. Uh, what, what are you talking about this early in the morning? Ugh. I extracted the data from my sister's PC. Holy crud. You did it. Good job, Makoto. I'm not entirely sure I did it correctly, though. Ooh, I've been waiting for this. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> I have to head to school right now, though. Uh, well, my bad. Uh, bring it right after then. I'm gonna punish you if you're late. Looks like it went well. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, before that, we should get over to school. Oh yeah, we're still doing that crap. I don't know, when you have like a three day weekend, sometimes I'll forget like, oh crud, yeah, I go to school. Seriously? I forgot. <laughs> I wish our principal would have a change of heart. He knew all about Kamoshida, but kept his mouth shut? Ridiculous! Well, let's vote him on the fan side. I can't imagine the Phantom Thieves wouldn't go after someone so rotten. I'm sure other teachers knew too. Anyone who did deserves a change of heart. Hmm. It, it, yeah, but wait. What if it messes up our school trip? What? Maybe we should meet, wait until after? Hmm, so they want justice so long as it doesn't inconvenience them. Hmm. I'll just let you think about that one. Oh, oh yeah. dump! It's him! Next week is the school trip you've all been looking forward to. Have you been getting ready? Your destination is none other than Hawaii. I hope your passport isn't about to expire. Yeah, that'd be bad. You're heading out on Wednesday, so there's no time to get a new one printed. Anyhow, I'm sure you'll enjoy your time sightseeing in Hawaii. More if you have more knowledge. Now then. Look closely. Oh. He's like, give me the pizza, please. <laughs> this is the King Kamahea, the founder of Hawaii. Let's see how you're doing. Each hand is his famous statue means something. But do you know what the right represents? Uh prosperity for Hawaii, sir? This I'm pretty awesome. sure. I didn't have to look it up. Yeah, alright, we're good. <laughs> Almost had to restart the episode. The right hand represents the prosperity of Hawaii. And then the spear in the left hand represents peace. As a side, it seems the statue is not of King Kamehameha himself. And after Kamehameha's death, another commissioned in the statue, using a boy from his court as the model. Oh. Well, I mean, that's okay, I think. I don't know. You sometimes you gotta do that in art. What if they didn't have a good picture of the guy? I hope you will make the most of your five days there. Let me say that I have a fondness for macadamia nuts, so... Please bring me some! <laughs> Souvenirs, huh? I definitely want to get some wooden figures. Can't understand why people would send those things as gifts. Dude, they're cool! What? Come on, Morgana! You gotta open your mind, bro. Wooden figures, you gotta collect them all! Here you go. I think I did it right. <laughs> Leave it to me. Whoa, you grabbed all these? Are they for Hawaii? If we're gonna lay low, we might as well enjoy it. Oh, look at this one! Gigantic sea turtle sightseeing on some beach. Come on, food's more important than some turtle. You really don't find steak this big and thick in Japan. Also, mahi mahi? Is that some kind of fish? Think it's good? It seems that it's the season for schools all around. 
We're going on our school trip as well. Yeah? Where are you guys going? I believe it's Los Angeles. <laughs> that doesn't suit you at all, Yusuke. I bet you wanted to go somewhere like Nico or Nara. Anywhere is acceptable. After all, the mineral pigments used for Japanese art were originally imported. Hawaii and Los Angeles, huh? Which would you want to go to? I mean, don't I seem like an L.A. guy? Like a total gangsta? That makes no sense at all. I'd rather go to Hawaii. What country's that? Our place. <laughs> Wait, are you scared of airplanes? So we won't be seeing each other for a while. We'll make sure to buy a souvenir for you. Ooh, here comes some interesting data. This is just from a quick glance, but it says perpetrated and connected. It means that mental shutdowns aren't coincidence, that this is a case with a culprit behind it. Actually, it's not just about people having shutdowns. It looks like she's inferring that the psychotic breakdown incidents are connected to the same case. Go Makoto Sis! How long do you think it'll take to analyze all of it? Hmm. There's a lot, so it's not happening overnight. But I'll manage by the time you guys get back. I demand souvenirs from Hawaii and L.A. for my reward. I don't really get all this, but you're as amazing as always, Futaba. I guess it's called an information war? Oh, it's so high-tech and modern. Kinda reminds me of a movie. We're the Phantom Thieves, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, I can turn into a car and stuff, too. Come on, don't try and compete with her. What did you say? You're fine the way you are, Morgana. Like, you're cheeky cute? Cute? Videon, I... Well, we'll continue this when we get back from the trip. I can't wait to see how much the Phantom Thieves' popularity is increased by then. Why, here we come! What the heck? Oh, Morgana wants to come. God dang it. Don't forget to prepare yourselves for the trip, okay? Huh? You're really sounding like a teacher right now, man. What are you even saying that for? Didn't I tell you? I'll be coming along. <laughs> what? The teachers have asked me to chaperone the trip in their place. What? what? Oh, I, I, I didn't hear a goddamn thing about that. Uh, is there a problem? Not that I can think of. Wouldn't feel the same without you. Glad you're coming. <laughs> yes, I was worried about how many troublemakers will be there. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, are you talking about us? But why are you having to go at all, Makoto? Hmm. It seems some teachers have stayed behind to deal with the tabloid article. And so they decided to get a couple of third years to act as additional chaperones. Makes sense. I see a few others beside myself will be going as well. Oh, I see. Either way, this overseas trip has been truly long awaited. I expect leaving Japan will be a great eye-opener for us. This is a wonderful opportunity, so we should be sure to enjoy it. Right. Looking forward to it. Don't forget souvenirs! <laughs> Aww. Man, I wish I could take Mona along, but he get caught. Also, uh, yeah, this is a trap, bro. If you talk to Akechi right now and say, oh crap, I got other stuff to do, um, he will leave and you can't do the confidant. So make sure you do whatever you gotta do before talking to Akechi, which for us is messing around on our new freaking laptop we got. I, I didn't know if I was supposed to say laptop or computer, so I said comp laptop, and that's not a word. But yeah, we need to buy stuff from Shady Commodities today. <laughs> Welcome to the alluring world of Tanaka's Shady Commodities. 
The site uses text-to-speech for an easy-to-understand shopping experience. Yeah, you can buy stuff, and it gets delivered to you. And you want to buy a lot of stuff, because the more you buy, the better stuff you have to sell. Because that's definitely how the economy works. I mean, what? Uh, <laughs> just make sure you have some cash. Forget any silly doubts or skepticism you might have, and just sign up! Do it! What are you waiting for? Do it now! This site's incredibly shady. So you're gonna sign up? <laughs> yeah, why not? What do I gotta lose? Is it a good idea to use your real name on a site like this? No, I'll definitely go with my actual real name. Joker. Or John Doe for me. <laughs> Codename, -a. that's a good idea. Yeah. Welcome! This is Tanaka's Shady Commodities. Mr. Joker, you've opened the door to possibilities that normal people can only dream of. Giving me money. Now you can find all the rare items you could possibly want. Dude, no way. You got homunculuses? Nope. Just more bullcrap I don't need. You don't got the cash for this right now. Don't really spend it. Really, you can get by without this. But you should make it a good idea to start racking up your uh, points card, so to speak. So we'll buy one of everything. So far, you've spent... 3,400 yen! Good news, Mr. Joker. Why? You've already spent over one, no, 10,000 yen! <laughs> Your member rank is now black. Now you can purchase all black tier products. Do not laugh, stop that. Your order will arrive soon. We understand your excitement. Please, please be patient. We hope to see you again. Wow, we got scammed. <laughs> No. <laughs> the items are okay, I guess, but definitely not worth their price, especially to buy in bulk like that. But uh, now we can talk to Mr. Akechi. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here? Welcome home. I hope you don't mind that I'm intruding on your home again. I mean, it's not my house. I expect we both had a long day. I was out until now with work. I can finally take a break. You're not planning on anything too strenuous tonight, are you? I, mean, I was going to go play like Innocent Sin Online on my laptop, but then perhaps we can talk over some of Boss's coffee? Not that I'm complaining, but you two are so tired. Maybe you could use the bath more than coffee? I mean, there's a bathhouse right there. Hmm, bathhouse. That doesn't sound too bad. I want you to come with me. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the way. It's literally across the... Okay, I'll take you. What do you want to do? <laughs> Stop laughing. It's just two dudes hanging out, butt naked. If that's the case, I suppose I'll take you and Boss up on the suggestion. Let's go. I mean, we did as we used game Ryuji. Now we're hanging with our homie Akechi. This feels wonderful. It's been a while. Do you two all. Do you and Say just like not bathe? You're that like busy? What? Uh, years. <laughs> what? I used to frequent one when I was younger. Oh, that's what you meant. Homie, so, you gotta take a shower, bro. Of course. These days, I'm the detective prince. But my family situation was... Well, complicated. By the time I was old enough to realize that my father was already gone. My mother was all I had. My mother worked at a nightclub. Whenever she had to bring a man home, she'd send me off to the local bathhouse. Oh my... Well... I, I didn't know, man. I'm... Sorry we came here? It's in the past. I have no reason to blame her either. Okay. Sure thing, man. The only one who deserves blame is my father. The worthless, degenerate excuse for a man who abandoned my mother. I want to force him to finally give her the apology he owes her. But that's no longer possible. Uh... <laughs> uh, sorry. I didn't mean for our conversation to get so depressing. It's okay. You can talk to me, man. Actually, are you all right? I know the hot water can make people dizzy. <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of used to this. I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm still good to go, too. I feel like I'm barely starting to feel warmed up. <laughs> Let's not make this a competition, bro. Because you'll lose. Nah, but we're fine. <laughs> it was quite That's nice. refreshing. These taste the best when you're just out of the bath. The heck y'all drinking, Frick? Oh, I think I feel lightheaded. Aw, oh, crap, bro. Me too. How long were we in there, huh? I thought so. Your face is bright red, you know. So is yours, Mr. Akechi. Hmm. This is the first time I've ever taken a bath like this. 
I've never told anyone else about my family situation either. I wonder why I told you. Curious indeed. Well, I'm flattered, I guess, but maybe it's because you see something in me that you see in yourself, like the Justice Arcana, maybe? Hmm. Now that you mention it, maybe we are pretty similar deep down. You're both victims of the adults and fairly impacted our lives. I mean, yeah, but that's a lot of people, right? Right? Mm. Yes. I'm even more sure of that, having talked with you. Hmm. Then again, this probably isn't a conversation we should be having naked. Let's get dressed, shall we? I mean, we're not naked. We literally have a... T <laughs> I like how the game's just like, you know, yeah, we probably could save the philosophical discussions for when we're fully clothed. Let's, let's get our clothes on. <laughs> but All right. I guess Akechi can open up to someone he sees as his equal. Or because we have an angel with us. Mm. Maybe that's it. My skin still feels like it's radiating heat. <sighs> Next time, let's keep the competition out of the bath. Best to save it for the bays, right? The frick you call me? Oh yeah, that's the pool. Uh, <laughs> Though we could always see who changes fastest. Are you ready? <laughs> what, you just said? Goodbye. I ain't gonna lose to you, Akechi. Never! Wear my jeans! <laughs> oh, I didn't even wear jeans. Crap. <laughs> hey, between the delicious coffee and the bath, I finally managed to relax. So thank you. I mean, it's Sojiro's idea, but... It's nice to spend the day as Goro Akechi for once. Rather than the Detective Prince, you know. I get where you're coming from. I don't know if it's because of the whole Prince image, but... Everyone seems to think I'm some brilliant prodigy. It's really nothing like that. But people always seem to misunderstand. If they saw how I was acting today... Perhaps I'd say I wasn't acting like the Detective Prince. Well, I mean... Who cares? Bro, you had fun. That's all that matters. But I'm sorry if you weren't princely. <laughs> oh, I don't mean for that to sound negative. I'm sorry if I offended. If anything, I envy you. You fit right with the retro vibe back there. Are you calling me retro? Hmm, what? Honestly, though, I just can't figure you out. No matter how I try, you and I have common ground in some aspects. But in others, we're total opposites. It's intriguing. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. <laughs> I'm veering into strange territory. Maybe I should let you go for now. See you. Later, homie. Yeah, I guess... Ketchy's got his own problems he's dealing with. Cause of rotten adults! Okay, that's kind of hyperbole, but... No, it's nice that he lets us in a little bit. Seriously, so many things are just out of the control of children. It sucks, bro. I mean, one day I want to be a dad too, but man, what if I say the wrong thing to my kid or like, ah. I mean, it's just stuff I think about, I guess. What the frick you want monologuing? Hey, do you go to arcades a lot? Mishima, shut up! There's a forum post that's been bothering me lately. Apparently there's a nasty gamer at an arcade. <laughs> a nasty gamer? Bro. He's gotta die! From the sounds of it, he's a frequent cheater. Maybe he's been focusing on the popular shooting game called a Gunabout and ruining people's fun. Uh, according to the post, he mostly spends his time downtown at the Gigolo Arcade. It might be a game, but cheating is inexcusable! A nasty gamer. It's definitely possible he'll exist in Mementos. Mishima said he's at the arcade on Central Street, right? Let's go see what this is all about. I don't know, shouldn't we, like, take care of child predators and, like, people that murder other people? I don't know. Maybe that should be a top priority. Okay, we're going to okay. stop the gamer, I guess. <laughs> Leaving for a school trip. Better get packing. You should take care of what we can before then. That is a good idea. Like mementos. And then we can have a giant vacation. But no. You gotta head over to the arcade. Talk to some people. And then you can get this Mementos mission, which is the last one we need before we can go. Huzzah! We're actually going to progress some of the confidants, like Takemi. Eventually. Hey, there's a target here. Talk to people. Okay. Yo, what's up? <gasps> the Angry Gamer! You wanna happen to be? What? You wanna play this? I'm gonna play Gunabout right now, so don't bother me. H hey, did you get the change yet? Oh, uh, but I won't take my 1,000 yen bill. Oh. <sighs> Now it's my chance! The cheater's logged in! 
Hey, hurry up and bring me some change! Cheater, you say? So you're not the guy? Do you know him by chance? Uh, some people online found his real name on a social media site, and now they're all raging. I think his name is Yoshikini Nejima. That dirtbag's 40 years old and jobless, man. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna crush Nejima and be a hero. But you don't seem to be winning at all, sir. Shut up! Just go and bring me some change, dude. Well, that was really easy. So that malevolent player that Mishima was talking about, he's the infamous cheater. Hmm. It's one thing to cheat if you're playing alone. I mean, it's wrong to mess with other people's fun like that, but maybe, like, I don't know, the people that make the game should do this? Okay, we have to target him in Mementos, let's go. <laughs> Just saying. No, this leads into other stuff. But it is a little, it's a little on the silly side. Should not be our top priority. Or even our third top priority. Like, come on. Our serious top priority, though, is protecting Smoothie Girl at all costs. We gotta make the world a better place for her. And if that's not love, I don't know what it- Okay, <laughs> stop. I just like to think, this is my headcanon, the Smoothie Girl might have a crush on Joker. Think about it! It could be cute! Shut up! Anywho, friggin'... Dang, I guess we don't have time to go any further, but... Yeah, man, this game just keeps getting more and more fun. I just wanna play more, but UGH! We gotta save things for next time, because we got a long episode tomorrow, guys, because... We're finally initiating Futaba's Confidant and Joker. I want, I want you to look ahead. I want you to look at the people watching the video. Friggin', there we go. Gosh, but yeah. At long last, Futaba Sakura. And by a reflection of that. Wait, the kitty? The kitty's back? Dump! It's been a while. You still. Yeah, he's still clipping. Some things never change, but uh, yeah. Next episode, guys, we start the Hermit's Confidant officially. And also, continue with the Hierophant. Now that we're kind of on Sojiro's good side. So see you guys then. Bye.